Hey guys, welcome back to Real Anime Training. We're in Los Angeles. Los Angeles, Los Hollywood. Angeles. We're in Hollywood. Ah, freaking yeah. out. Yeah, that's why we got our fancy jackets. Yeah, because we're in Hollywood. We're getting Hollywood on y'all. And today. you see that these things are obviously Dragon Ball related. So what are we doing? Yes. What are we doing, Jordan? Oh. I think we know what we're doing. We're having a legendary night. If y'all know what we're doing, we're at the Broly premiere. Broly. The biggest Broly premiere ever. Well, I besides the one in Japan, because that was pretty massive. Yeah, but the biggest one in Hollywood. The biggest one here. In America so far. This is what we're doing. There's a whole Dragon Ball thing going on right now. But today, it's not about Broly. We'll do more Broly this month than Dragon Ball month. But right now, yes. what we're going to do is we're going to tackle first form Frieza. Yes. He wants to caress those balls. That's what he said in the ocean dub. It's canon. It's canon, y'all. Okay. <laughs> Duffy, put that clip in. <laughs> he probably will. Good. Having these balls makes me feel something that resembles joy, I think. I want to caress them. This series of workouts for Frieza, there's essentially a Frieza program here. Uh, will not be based on anything that we've seen Frieza do training wise. However, it will be based on the forms that we've seen of Frieza as well as the things that we've seen him do in combat. Now how this program is set up is it's set up in stages, first form, second form, third form, fourth form, etc. Um, and it's actually meant to be done as a whole workout or you can break it up into smaller workouts. It is absolutely insane from start to finish if you did the entire thing. So we're going to do each of these workouts separately at first, and then we will show you the entire thing in another video at the very end. All right, the first workout is the first form Frieza workout. Now, when you look at first form Frieza, he's a little dude. There's no reason that anybody who sees this guy should be scared of him, but he's got a power level of 530,000. He can destroy planets like that. He is absolutely one of the most terrifying beings in the universe. The first form Frieza workout is really, really short. It's a Metcon, it's metabolic conditioning. It's essentially cardio with things other than running or swimming or whatever have you. Uh, think like CrossFit style movements. So this first form workout is only nine minutes long and we're going to alternate between two exercises the two exercises for first form frieza are a one arm alternating kettlebell snatch and double unders the reason that we've chosen these exercises is to emulate some things that we've seen frieza do which would be holding the death ball above his head and also sort of floating in the air in front of people so these two exercises are to be done as a couplet which means back to back uh, for the entire nine minute time period. So it is 20 one arm alternating kettlebell snatches and that is 20 on each side. So you're gonna go left arm, right arm, left arm, right arm. And it's one, one, two, two, all the way up to 20. And then you will do 50 double unders. So let's break down each of these exercises a little bit more on their own. For the one arm kettlebell snatch, your feet are gonna be just about hip width apart, maybe a little bit further than that. Perhaps your toes slightly turned out. Uh, the kettlebell is gonna be directly in between your feet. Um, you wanna have it be very close to your body, so it's gonna be in between your feet. Now what you're gonna do is you're going to bend from the hips, so do not bend over from the spine. We're gonna squat down, chest up. We're gonna grab that kettlebell with one hand, and as we stand up, we're gonna drive as hard as we can through our heels, we're gonna squeeze the glutes right as you start to get all the way up to the top of the squat. So you're really using the forcefulness of that butt squeeze to generate a lot of power. Once you do that, you're going to pull up through the elbow. And as you pull up through the elbow, the kettlebell is going to come up in front of your body. It's gonna be very close to your body. And then you're going to use the momentum of both the glutes and the pull from your arm to raise the kettlebell up over your head. And it's gonna be in one smooth motion. You're gonna use that momentum from both of those pulls. And then as it comes up, you're going to transition the kettlebell in a nice little swing and punch up through the handle of the kettlebell. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna allow the kettlebell to be able to rotate around your wrist without slapping you in the wrist and also without it falling behind you. You can see that rotation here 
uh, we slowed it down a little bit and we zoomed in so that you can really see what that looks like. So look at it a few more times in all of its pieces. Once you've seen that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna reverse the, the motion. So we're gonna let that kettlebell come right back down. So we're gonna let it flip in front of us and we're gonna lower it exactly the same way that we picked it up. And then we will, in that same bottom position, change hands and do the other side. For the double unders, a double under is just a jump rope technique. What that is, is you are allowing that rope to pass twice underneath your feet every time you jump. So the main issue that people have with doing double unders is they try to increase the rate of their jumping at the same rate that they increase the rate of them swinging their hands. So that's just gonna make you do single unders faster. You wanna have the rate of the rotation on the rope be twice as fast as the rate of the number of jumps that you have. So it's instead of looking like this, it's gonna look like this. So that takes some time for you to be able to get used to doing, uh, but what you can do to get used to it is you can throw double unders in the mix of single unders. So you can do like one, two, three, four, double under. One, two, three, four, double under. Once you get used to doing that, you can decrease the number of single unders in between your double unders until you're doing single under, double under single under, double under, and then eventually you start stringing double unders together. Now, I want you guys to make sure that you are doing double unders with shoes on, because uh, if you miss and you hit your toes with that rope, it's gonna hurt real bad. When you're starting to learn double unders, messing up is going to whip you with that rope. So please be aware that if you mess up in a double under, it's gonna sting you. Frieza punishes those who disobey him. Now you pay! To recap, 20 one-arm alternating kettlebell snatches on each side, followed by 50 double unders for nine minutes. At the end of nine minutes, the workout is over. So what you can do if you're just doing this workout is at the end of a normal weightlifting workout or a, a calisthenics workout that you'd be doing, you can throw this workout in at the end as sort of like a way to get your cardio up. Later on, after we release all of the workouts, you'll do a warm up and then follow each of these workouts in order from first form all the way to Golden Frieza, and that will be your entire workout. Let me tell you, if you can complete all the forms of Frieza, those workouts, you are going to be so dead, completely dead, like Planet Vegeta levels of dead. Do not underestimate this workout. It might look small, but it's super deadly just like Frieza. Of all the things you might have said, I dare say you've forgotten how vastly terrifying I can be. <laughs> so it's only nine minutes long, but at the end of this workout, I guarantee that you're going to be breathing just as hard as when Vegeta got a death beam through the chest. Oh no! You could Y'all can find me on my channel, Jack's Blade, where I can do stuff like the tunes and would that work out and nerdy fitness topics. And this guy is my teacher. Be sure to follow his work. He does tons of great stuff. He's the reason I am the man I am today. And we're gonna go enjoy that Broly premiere. All right, guys, that's all for First Form Frieza. Look forward to the next ones as we go through Dragon Ball Month for the next five weeks. Uh, if you're looking for some more training, we've got some free stuff in the description. You can check that out. And until next time, guys, good, good luck and train hard. And special thanks to these patrons who support Real Anime Training on Patreon.